word problems on subtraction. Let's solve this example. There were 58 students in a class. Of these, 35 were girls. So, how many boys in the class? Students, in this sum, we have to find number of boys. We have total 58 students. Out of these, 35 were girls. So, to find number of boys in the class, we will subtract 35 from 58 using tens and ones. Tens, ones. There were 58 students in the class. 58 means 5 tens and 8 ones. So let's write 5 tens, 8 ones. Of these, 35 were girls. 35 means 3 tens, 5 ones. 3 tens, 5 ones. Now, as we have to find number of boys, we will subtract. Let us subtract ones first. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Now, tens. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So now we have 2 tens, 3 ones. That is number 23. So 58 minus 35 is equal to 23. So there were 23 boys in the class. Now let us look at this example. Anju bought 562 sweets on her birthday. She distributed 326 sweets among her friends. How many sweets left with her? Students, let's solve this sum using hundreds, tens and ones. So let's write hundreds, tens and ones. Anju bought 562 sweets. She distributed 326 sweets. Now we have to find number of sweets left with Anju. So we will subtract 562 sweets. 562 means 500, 6 tens and 2 ones. She distributed 326 sweets. 326 means 3 hundreds, 2 tens and 6 ones. We have to find number of sweets left with Anju. So, let's subtract. Let us subtract ones first. 2 minus 6. Students, we cannot subtract 6 ones from 2 ones. So, we will borrow 1 tenths from tens column. 6 tenths minus 1 tenths is equal to 5 tenths. Now, 2 plus 10 is equal to 12. 
So this 2 becomes 12. Now 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Let us subtract 10. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Now hundreds. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now we have 2 hundreds. 3 tens. 6 ones. So the number is 236. So 562 minus 326 is equal to 236. So now Anju is left with 236 sweets.